I am feeling quite annoyed with the internet. I am Alex from Barefaced and I know what I'm talking about, but a lot of people on the internet appear to talk about stuff they don't know about. And my current bugbear is people who've discovered they can get a microphone and a computer and make a frequency response plot of something and tell you that because they have measured it and this line is here, this is how it sounds and it's not. It really, really, really is not. Because when we play music, time is involved, right? So notes start, notes stop, frequency response changes through a note, harmonics change through a note, distortion changes through a note, and also through the reproduction of a note. Sound reproducers such as loudspeakers, got one here, the speaker has to start moving and stop moving, yeah? So doing a steady state tone doesn't tell you anything. I mean, it tells you something, but it doesn't tell you anything useful enough to actually tell you anything useful. And to make this very clear why this is absolutely definitely not the case, why frequency response is not tone and it is not determining the sound of something, get a very multi-band graphic EQ. There's lots of EQs out there with lots of bits. You can do digital EQ. And digital EQ can be so finely graduated that you can take any response curve. So this is what I'm talking about. These curves here. Let me zoom in. Yeah? So you've got loudness here on the left up the y-axis. You've got frequency going low to high on the x-axis. That's in hertz, decibels, hertz, and a wiggly line, right? If you get a DSP-based EQ, you can flatten that. You can cut it, you can raise the dips, you can cut the peaks, you can sort it out. So you can get any loudspeaker to measure flat at the point you're measuring it from. But they won't all sound the same. I think you can intuitively feel that that is obvious. Time matters, so when elements of a note, harmonics within a note, parts of a note, the whole envelope of a note, starts and stops, changes, gets louder, gets quieter, how harmonics swell and die at different rates. These things define tone. Also, where you're hearing the sound from matters. You do a measurement with a microphone, you're only hearing the stuff that microphone is hearing. The microphone has its own polar pattern, the sound sources have their own polar pattern, and the sound source is complex. You know, this loudspeaker has increasing directivity with frequency from the front because that's what all loudspeakers do. But then it's got wide dispersion from the back and if you're in a room, the sound from the back reaches the sound from the front. And inevitably, if you've got a badly built loudspeaker, this is not a badly built loudspeaker, you will get significant panel resonances that create output which conflict and will do different things on and off axis where they interact. And also, if this has been measured using constant pink noise, you may end up with a peak here, which actually isn't caused by that frequency being louder, it's caused a by a frequency that's lower, generating distortion harmonics and actually making it louder. So there's distortion profiles as well. And then there's dynamics, things get louder and quieter and things respond differently at different, fr uh, different levels of loudness. So you've got dynamic response, you've got polar response, you've got transient response, and you've got frequency response. At the most basic, those four elements matter. Now, to measure all of those is possible, but it is difficult, it is time consuming, it requires great skill to do properly, and this is the other thing I see. Our enthusiastic YouTubers have no understanding of the proper scientific method. There is a way to do things, and the way everything I've seen out there on the YouTube appears to be people not knowing how to do things apart from how to operate a camera and some editing software. Just stop it. Just stop it. I'm so, so sick of misinformation. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. I'm Alex from Barefaced. I know what I'm talking about and I'm so tired of all of you out there who don't know what you're talking about. And one thing I would like to say is if you buy musical equipment, if you play music, you're a musician, engineer, whatever your interest is, why you're watching this. I don't expect you to understand this stuff. It's not your job to do it, it's my job to do it. But what I would like is that people who don't understand this stuff to go on, stop going online and telling everyone they do and that they're doing the work. 
so we understand they're not doing the work, they're just making a hell of a mess. Stop it, go away. I know what I'm talking about. Please come at me with your comments. I'm annoyed. Goodbye.